it's time to pause for peace with me, Pastor Jewel. Welcome. I'm glad you are here. This podcast is being released on June 30th, 2024, when the United States of America is moving into this week when we celebrate our independence, our freedom from the tyranny of the crown. And it will be a week, I hope, of a lot of festivities, a lot of joy, a lot of relaxing, some wonderful summer fun. And in the spiritual world, we actually have a way, a technology, if you will, to speak about our own freedom, our own independence from the tyranny of anything else. And one of the scholars, a French scholar who is working with this understanding, Jeanne Lelou, a wonderful, wonderful French passionate scholar and meticulous translator of some ancient texts. Jeanne Lelou is putting forth for us a spiritual understanding that has been lost for a very long time. And he speaks of a framework of understanding ourselves. He calls it an anthropology, a term that is not new, anthropology, meaning the, the components, if you will, or how we think of what it means to be a human being. And he speaks of a fourfold anthropology. This is an understanding where we are body, which is a Greek word called soma, where we are psyche, which we often understand as our feelings, our behaviors, our personality, that's all a part of our psyche. Sometimes you might hear it called mind. And he speaks of a part of this fourfold understanding is that we also are and have within us a component of the pneuma, the spirit, the breath of God, if you will, and that that is an aspect of the divine that is living in us. That doesn't make us God, if you will, but it means that the divine, the holy, the aspect of pneuma, of spirit, of breath, the great breath, if you will, lives within us as well. And in this spiritual technology, this fourfold understanding of being a human being, there's a bridge between the soma, the psyche, and the spirit, or the Holy Spirit, or the pneuma is the Greek word, the pneuma that is living in us, the, the God that is living within us. And it's this little bitty word called the noose. And the noose, N-O-U-S in the Greek language. The noose is actually this gateway between the psyche and the body and the aspect of God that is living within us. And we might think of this noose as the heart, if you will, or the spiritual eye of the heart. Some of our spiritual teachers teach us, like Cynthia Bourget and Richard Rohr. And the pneuma is within us, and the noose, this portal, is able to take body and psyche into this, this connection, is the bridge, if you will, from body and psyche to the pneuma. And that is the noose this spiritual eye of the heart, this organ of spiritual perception, often understood as that heart space where the energy of unconditional love and innate harmony resides. So I have a little diagram, if you are watching this podcast as a video cast, I have a little diagram that shows the soma, the body, the psyche, the noose, and the pneuma. And in this little diagram, this like little chart that I drew recently when I was teaching on this at the Hayden Institute's Summer Spirituality and Dream Conference, when I was teaching about this, this is an understanding, this fourfold understanding, this fourfold anthropology is an understanding that allows us 
to be free, when we work within this spiritual framework of who we are and how we can be in this world. And this is a way that we become the true human being or the anthropos with a capital A, anthropos. These are Greek words, by the way. So one of the ways we do that is by going in, if you will, to this bridge, connecting through the noose so that we can rightly connect with the spirit, the pneuma that is living within us, the God that is within us, and then be able to bring to psyche the messages of this rightly orient, oriented self with the divine, and also bring then from psyche to body these messages of the, the pneuma and the great wisdom that the pneuma has for us in order to live free, in order to be a soul that is truly liberated. We can be liberated from an external authority, an external sovereignty like the British crown. But until we are free internally, we will still live in a way that is kind of those who are enslaved, if you will, enslaved to the, the, the energies and the, and the powers and the climates internally that will pull us off course and not allow us to truly be who we are to be in this world. Some people speak of that as being our authentic self. Some people speak of that as being our individuated self. Some people speak of that as being our whole self. This, this vision that God has for all, all things, that we will be and experience that great shalom, that, that great peace that is the healing of all things, the liberation, the freedom of all things. And I believe that one of the best ways to go about that healing of all the world is by beginning within. This is the only being that I have any true sway over and any true ability to fully be integrated with is my own being. And if I cannot be free internally, I cannot be free externally, no matter if we are freed from the tyranny of any sovereign nation. If we cannot be free inside, we still are living as those who have not taken the sovereign seat of our internal being, have not approached and truly resided in the strength and the power of who we really are. So a practice I want to invite you to on this pause for peace. Firstly, making sure you understand this fourfold anthropology that we are body, we are psyche, we are noose, and we are pneuma. We are, we are God. We are this bridge between the, the body and the psyche or the body and the personality or the body and the mind, if you will. There's this bridge of the noose between us, between these aspects of ourself and that aspect of ourself that is the pneuma, the God that is living within. And so, of course, the way that we begin to integrate and to get the wisdom from the pneuma for the living of our days is to, one, one way is to just go in through the heart space. I've been talking a lot lately with folks about dreams, and I think dreams is another way that shows us. It's almost like our, our dreams are a bit of a portal through the noose into the connection with the pneuma, the unconscious that is within us, so that we can mine the wisdom for the living of our days, so that our, our body and our psyche can truly be free, and we can live as a whole human being. So in this episode of Pause for Peace. We're going to do this practice. I've come back to it again and again, but it's a practice that really does require practicing to become a skill of being able to truly go in through this heart space, through the noose, and connect with the pneuma, the great spirit. You might hear me call that the soul, if you will, that is within us. 
So if you are able right now to get a little bit quiet, get a little bit still, you might even want to close your eyes a bit. I find it easier to go within when I close my eyes. We'll take a few deep breaths. It is not a coincidence that our breath is something that can recenter us most efficiently when the Numa is also understood as the great breath, the Holy Spirit that is within us. So when we take that deep breath, it is as if we are already engaging that intention to connect through the noose with the great spirit that is living in us. So let's take another deep breath. Hold it for just a few seconds. Be the count of four and then release maybe to the count of eight. Let's do one more. Hold, two, three, four, release, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I invite you to place your hands upon your knees, palms down, if you are able to. This is a spiritual technology, an understanding of anthropos, of self, that is deeply embodied. Because the soma, the psyche, the noose, the pneuma, none of these aspects of ourselves are bad. They just become fractured from one another. And so our spiritual practice is to like bring them back together, allow them to be back in conversation so they can be rightly oriented to one another and so that we can be rightly oriented in this great spirit that is within. So placing our palms on our knees, if we will. I invite you to awaken your heart center this organ of spiritual perception right there in the middle of your chest. This energy often called the heart chakra in Eastern circles. One way to do that is by placing your palm on your chest, right there in the center of your chest, your heart space. And set the intention to open this portal. You might even see it like a spiritual eye that is opening. Maybe you see it as like a, a toll bridge that you're going to pass over. And first you have to stand before it and ask for the bridge to be open, for the, the gate of the bridge to give way that you might be able to cross over and connect with the pneuma that is residing on the other side. This pneuma that is almost like this immortal diamond of God that is living within us, it cannot be touched. Thomas Merton called this the point of nothingness within us because there is nothing that can destroy this beautiful aspect of God that is living in us. Nothing, nothing, nothing can, can touch it in a way that it will be tarnished. It will be broken. It will always remain whole. This is the aspect that we're seeking to connect with as we go in through the heart space. Ask Numa internally, ask Numa what message it has for you, for your psyche, your mind, your, your behaviors, and for your body. 
that you might be able to live free this day, free from the inclinations, the impulses that, that pull you off of being your best self. So ask Numa to, to communicate with you what it is, what message it is. It might be through a vision, it might be an image, it might be a sound, it might be, it might be a word that you hear in the stillness. What it is that you need in order for psyche and body to be free, to be truly liberated this day. And as we are connecting through this noose into this touching in with the Numa, asking Numa for this wisdom that we need for today. In a bit of stillness, let us listen. Let us see. Let us feel. It could even be a sensation that comes over us. What does my mind need in order to be free, O oh great spirit, O oh great Numa? What does my body need? in order to be free, to be liberated, to be released from the powers that will pull me off, that almost will possess me. What does my body need to be free? Listen, listen internally, not just in the mind, listen internally. Keep your focus there on the heart space. Anytime you start to get pulled off, just bring yourself back with a breath. This is a way we re-engage with Numa. We bring ourselves back with the breath. We breathe and connect back down through the portal of our heart space. Sometimes I literally visualize that taking place, that I take that breath and then the breath like dives me back, almost like a swimmer that's diving into the water, diving into the heart space. Okay, so just notice whatever's coming, whatever's arising, even if it's nothing, that is a message to you as well. And let's take one more deep breath. Hold it for just a moment before we release. And if you want to spend a longer time in the stillness, you're welcome to pause this video, spend as long as you need. But when you are ready to return to this present moment, I invite you to just wiggle your fingers that hopefully are on your knees. One of them might've been on your chest. And 
When you're ready, you can bring your palms together, prayer pose before your heart space. Maybe you're feeling some energy gathering in your hands and that might even be a message to place those hands somewhere on the body or somewhere in the brain, if you will. Even like sending little messages of calming into the brain. And when you're ready, you might open your eyes. Again, if you had some energy gathering, oh, it just feels good to just, whew. Move it all through the body. This is a technology that we can come back to again and again and again, a spiritual practice, a spiritual technology that allows us to live a little bit more free each and every day, a little bit more released from the chaos that can take place in our psyche, the messages that can come that keep us from being anything but our best selves, the powers that can like possess our bodies so that we focus only on being a body or we do those things which are not actually healthy for our body. This is a spiritual technology, this fourfold anthropology that brings us back again and again and again to our true selves, to being the true human being, the anthropos, which is what we are called by the Christ to be. So I hope you have a wonderful week of celebrating freedom. I hope that you truly honor yourself and all the other beings that are around you, because if this fourfold anthropology is the truth about yourself, it is the truth about every being that resides around you in this in this great wonderful earth on which we live and so we want to honor ourselves and honor all beings with whom we come in contact each day and perhaps even awakening our spiritual eye of perception our noose to be able to see the pneuma that is living within another one especially when they are folks that can pull us off from the best intentions that we have for love and for peace and for harmony. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Be safe, have fun, stay hydrated and pause for peace. Blessings.